Hello, hello, it's Bowie Jane here and it's time to do my hair. As you can see, I'm not a natural blonde. Oh my God. By the way, I'm sitting on the toilet because there's no room in this bathroom and I have to do this in the bathroom. <laughs> Today I'm gonna peroxide my hair and I thought I'd show you how to do it. I don't want it nice kind of blonde. I want it like, whoa, why? Why like this toilet that I'm sitting on? I ordered this, all this stuff online. There's probably a better one out there. I wouldn't have a clue. Let me know if there is because I would like to try it, but this worked pretty well. Quick blue powder bleach extra strength. Just a big bag of powder bleach. You then mix it with developer. And there's different types. This is 40, which is on the stronger side, but there's 30, there's 20. But my hair's quite dark, so I need to go pretty hard with the developer. I think I could even go higher, but Everyone says not to, so whatever. All I'm gonna do is whack this all over my scalp. It doesn't really matter if I wreck the hair, in my opinion. I just will shave it off again, so. Leave it on for an hour and 45 minutes to get it perfectly white. If I take it off a bit early, it's a bit yellow, and then I have to put the uh, toner in, which I don't have to do the toner if I get the color right. The directions say, on scalp, that's what we're doing. 1.5 ounces to 2.5 ounces of this mixed with one scoop of this. But actually what I do is I do that, but then I just try and get the consistency right. If it's too big, it dries out on your head and then it stops working. And if it's too runny, it drips off your head. So I will start this process for you while sitting on the toilet. And I just ordered this online. It's just one of those classic hairdresser sort of kits. So the brand is Diane by From. You could use any bowl on any brush. I mean, you could use your hands, although it wouldn't be very good for your hands. In this container, there is a little thing that says two ounces, and I'm gonna put liquid in up to the number two mark. This is the developer that I'm putting in, so I'll put that in, the developer. I'm now gonna grab one scoop of the powder bleach, and I'm just gonna pour it in, like this. And when I first started doing this, I was like, oh my god, I've got to do this really quick. I, it, it hasn't really mattered so far. Um, just make it like a smooth consistency. But you don't really want chunks of powder. It's going to go blue, don't stress. I don't know why it goes blue, but because I'm a blonde. I don't know. Nah, I'm only joking. Just make sure you scrape around the side until you get all those little dry bits. So you can see it's like almost too thick, but it's probably just right, I think. Now one other little trick, if you get, are getting a burn on your scalp when you put the peroxide on, which it, it totally will, the first time I had it done, oh my gosh, I was like, oh no, I can't be a blonde, this is ridiculous. This little trick saved my life. Splendor sugar. Two packets, I'm not joking, mix this in with that, you won't have a scalp burn. And you can see the sugar is sitting on top, and I'm just gonna mix it in. For some reason, the chemical reaction or something, stops the burn. Now the next step is, I'm just gonna wipe it on my head. See if it's too runny, it will run off your head. Goodbye, dark hair. I try and do these front main parts quite quickly um, because it starts working straight away. Um, I gotta be careful because the last time I got some real on my skin and it did burn a little bit, but it doesn't really matter if the skin recovers. You do have to be careful not to just be whacking it all over your face. You guys use the term whacking it. I don't know, that might be an Aussie term. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it on the back, I'm just guessing. Just make sure it's all covered, basically. Now, this is probably bad for you, so don't do it if you've got sensitive skin, but I just now rub it in with my fingers. Because you wash it off in about two minutes anyway. And make sure you get right to the front, because those little bits will show up when you're trying to go white. So, I'm just gonna wash my hands, and I'm just gonna wipe off the excess from my ears. I'm using a crappy towel. Next, cling wrap. For me, it works. Um, it keeps the heat in, and it sort of processes it quicker. It keeps it all moist. But if the peroxide dry, dries out, it just stops working for some reason. So, I'm gonna use a bit of cling wrap, and I'm just gonna wrap it all over my head. Cling wrap. Okay, so that is done. I now have the waiting game. By the way, this is only really good if you want white, white hair. Seriously, this works for me. So now we're gonna set the timer. I'm gonna set it for one hour and 45 minutes. Honestly, on here it says no more than 40 minutes, but it takes one hour and 45 minutes for me. If you've got really dark hair, you'll need it on for longer. The hairdresser told me that just leave it on for as long as it takes to get it white. A really good hairdresser told me that. You may feel a little bit of tingling, and don't worry, that's quite normal. Pretty boring, but the great thing is if you have the cling wrap on your head, you can actually do other things around the house without dropping peroxide everywhere. And believe me, if you get peroxide on a towel or something for a minute, it bleaches it. So careful with your clothes. While I'm waiting, I will also say, when you wash your hair, if 
if it's got a slight yellow tinge to it. That means you haven't left it on for long enough. And what I do is I just use this. It's really cheap and it's about $6 from Target. Shimmer Light. It's just a purple shampoo. I wouldn't recommend this if you're not wanting a full blown purple rinse. This is quite strong. So what I do is I wash out this, wash, 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 wash. Then I put this in and I leave it for like three minutes in my hair. If you leave it too long, it will actually go purple. And you can see how purple that is. That just takes away the brass in it. Do you know how they say? Take away the brass in it. Really the main thing is leaving this on for long enough. If you take it off too early, you're gonna have to pop this in, pop a toner in, and just do it right first time. That means be patient, people. Be patient. Be patient. There's eight minutes left. Yay, nearly there. Don't be tempted at the eight minute left mark to take it off. I've done it before and it'll be a bit yellow. So I'm just not gonna look at the clock until that alarm goes off. I'm going to take this clean wrap off. I'm just going to wash it off with shampoo. Really wash it, remember. So I've finished my hair and as you can see it's a really good white. I'm really happy with it. So thanks for watching and if you would like to subscribe, make sure you subscribe below and click the like button. My subscribe button is there and the last video is there so you got to do it. Yay!